hello and thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Space News. So, as you can see, I finished the wall here and I made some changes here. Here. Because when I covered this all up, I realized that if I removed the cargo container, then uh, there would be a massive hole here where the cargo container used to be. So, what I did is add another pipe in here. Uh, so, not just a curved one, but it also one more straight pipe before I connected the cargo container. So now all I have to do is cut the straight pipe and then uh, since you can only connect blocks here and you can't connect blocks here this is the only part that will be connected and then you just cut it off and you can pull it out again and I did some thinking and I realized that this whole thing has to be uh, heavy armor on the bottom just because if actually duck you couldn't see it of course but in, in real life I, I when I went under here I slightly pulled my head to the left to try and avoid hitting this uh, to the right I should actually say and that's really weird uh, I've never actually had it that I tried to well I have actually in Space Engineers Weird Boy Space Engineers is the only game that I have actually sometimes uh, gone like oh shit I have to duck to avoid this for some reason I don't know why uh, but yeah this whole thing has to be I still do, do st I still do I I do still say um, but yeah I just said it Maybe I just didn't... Maybe I just stopped noticing it while editing. Um, like I was talking about the other day that... I, I, I thought I stopped saying it, but apparently I didn't. Um, but anyhow... But anyhow, that's my new... <laughs> that's the kind of new new one. Um, yes, I will just cover... The oh, if I do this, then this will be connected. Um... Okay, now I'll just find another way to empty this. I, I don't really want to f uh, work around this one again. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to make it more... Ah, if I'm, if I'm going to make it more layers. What I could just do is cut this part out. And then it's still not connected. It might damage it a lot when I disconnect it. Uh, or uh, a bit at least. But then, you know, I'll, I'll fix it when we get to that point. And actually thinking about it, I don't store ships past this point because I'm not really sure what I want to do here maybe I put some gyroscopes or something over here um, but this part will most likely just be uh, you know empty or maybe just walking space so I don't really need to have heavy armor here I don't know if I'm gonna drag this one yeah I will do it here because uh, is this this not the light because if I'm gonna drag um, if I'm gonna drag my cargo container out, then I might as well have a little bit of protection here. So I'll just have it like this. How far do I want it to be? I'll think about it. I could do two things. Uh, one, I could make a separate uh, hangar door for each ship. So like w this one sh would be, uh, I could park one next to it. But of course, if this one's already in the way, I can't and the, the doors here, I can't get another ship in and around it. So I could make a separate hangar door for each ship, or I could just make my hangar uh, a lot wider. And I think I'll just go for the last thing. I'll, I'll no, for the first one, I'll just have a hangar door for each one. Uh, I don't really care about it. Mm. Not to think about it, I'm actually going to change it here. Uh, I will put my conveyor on this side. I'll make this engines and stuff because I also still need engines on this thing. So, and otherwise I don't know where to put that. So I, I can't just drag out my um, or I won't be able to just drag out my uh, cargo container and just empty it but I really uh, I, I need a space and I could make the ship of course a bit bigger but I don't really want to it has a, it has a size that I'm happy and um, I don't want to increase it uh, a lot more actually to be honest so let's just put all of these down and then I can start welding them and my mining ship is really weird it sometimes uh, just randomly stops, it won't actually mine anymore and you have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it working again uh, even though it's still pushing, it just for some reason won't mine anything uh, I don't know why that is actually they might have changed something on that, I generally don't have a clue just like now, it's not really mining anything it's just, you know, it's just going, but it's not really getting any materials and I've got no idea as to why that is and um of course really annoying because then I'm like oh you know let's send it out and I check in a few minutes later and I realize it hasn't done anything yet 
and uh, I might do some proper testing on that uh, somewhere next week um, because we know Easter's coming up. I'm going to my parents, so I, I do have time to report uh, record, but I don't have time to do anything else pretty much. Um, large beetle and set this one to storage and hide all the empty ones. So, oh yeah, of course, my um, I emptied my beetle a while ago in between videos. Mm, this probably not enough to make all the things that I want, but for now it will probably do. So let's turn it around. Go up. So yeah, I'm I'm like I said, I'm, I have no idea why as, as to why it's not working properly, but um, you know, if somebody does have an idea. Uh, you know, just let me know in the comments, and um, if you're right, I'll let you know, and if you're wrong, then I might also let you know, just, you know, to sh sh show that I have um, tested it, and I've heard your comment, or for read your comment, I should actually say. Um, but as, uh, as of so far, I still don't have a clue as to why it is uh, acting the way it is, and, you know, I might figure it out someday, um, and when I do, you know, I'll make sure I fix it. And actually doing this, I realized it would be a lot easier to just go to the left, probably. Ah, no, it might not be. Hello. What I sometimes do is I just make sure I'm really straight and then just turn my dampeners off. And very slightly. Just... I then have to go really slowly for heavy armor, actually. I'll probably do four, six. Six might be fast enough, so now I can just, you know, while I'm doing this, check on my auto miner. And just hope I don't mess it up, because if I do mess it up, it's really a waste of time. But, uh, yeah, like this, it's. It actually seems to be stuck, and for some reason it won't go anywhere. And then right now it seems to be going again for just a little bit, and then. You know, it, it stopped again. Um. I don't know why, and this one seems to stop. Oh, this one stopped because it went too far out, I think. Yes. So that's the only downside of this, of doing this. No. You have got to be kidding me. I already ran out. How much did it? I need a hundred, right? Oh, 150. I had 6,000, yeah, that's, yeah, okay, I get that, um, that means I need a lot. Oh, and I also queued up some trusted components, sadly I don't have any gold anymore, so they're not going, uh, to do that. Let's at least make sure that they're in front before the, uh, old ones run out. I will need a lot. I will actually need so much that I might just um oh wrong one. I might just go ahead and uh, do something else. Maybe weld up the the back of the ship and then just start uh, putting some um what are they called? What was damn thing called? Um gyroscopes. That's what I was looking for. And see if I can get some gyroscopes uh, somewhere in the ship and. No, I, I could of course always uh, start on my trusters as well, um, but of course you know for the um, for the welding this, I'll will ju just have to wait. I didn't know I would I would need that much um, you know that much steel plates, and it will take a long time to actually make it. So I might do a part in between videos, or at least let them uh, make in between videos, so I don't have to wait a long time for that. Um, and of course now I could already go ahead and think where I want my gyroscopes to go. So what I was thinking, I could just have my gyroscope on, th on gyroscopes on the top of this. Uh, just all the way, only I might actually turn this side mostly into my engine side. So for fr uh, top and bottom, uh, I'll m maybe just put it in here in between. And then, um, so, just, uh, let's see, do I, st I still have quite a few steel plates. I could uh, already go ahead and map it out if I wanted to. So go to my large thrusters. Here they are, and you know, pretty much just because this is 
Is this four wide? Yeah, this is three wide. Yeah, so what I could do is just rotate this and like have some trusses in between here. Because as I said, I didn't actually plan on coming here anyway, so... Uh, oh, this is not connected to anything then, if I do that. Because the refineries apparently only connect to the front. Um, I could have just do it here and then have one, connect two, three, four, five of these uh, here. Five would be enough, right? Uh, maybe a sixth one. I'm actually not sure. It might actually def generally need a sixth one. And then pretty much do the same uh, for trash just going up. So rotate them twice and one, two, uh, three, four, and five, six. So this will the the will the all these yeah. these will be all my thrusters for up and down. I might actually actu add one for up. And I might just do the whole thing here up and down. Trust. I could always remove them if I think that I have way too much power and it's a waste of my um, parts. But for now, you know, I. I would rather add them and have to remove them later on if I'm like really okay, that's unnecessary. Then having to add thrusters uh, after I finish the whole ship. Uh, because that's a lot more work and uh, it's also not a lot of fun work. So let's actually do it like. Or what I could do. No, 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 no. What I could do is I could remove these and then have my special thrusters. Where are they? The Sage. Oh, I, I will actually. Um, Starting from this video, I will uh, put all the mods that I use just in the description. Um, so you could you could uh, also download them if you want to. Large industrial thrusters, these are large industrial thrusters centers. Weirdly enough, the picture is the uh, wrong way. Like this, these are the center one, and these are the uh, non-center one. Um, so, oh, that's weird. And as you can see, this one needs 2,800 uh, thruster components. Uh, hence, why I'm making uh, quite a few. I guess I already knew this. Why can I, can I place you? Why can I place you up there, but I can't place you down one? Ah, because then that's in the way. Um, that's a shame because that's actually really in the way now. Uh, what I wanted to do is have two up here, but then this one sticks out one, and I don't want it to stick out one because it doesn't look nice. <sighs> yeah, that's the level I'm going for right now. It, I don't want it because it doesn't look li nice. <sighs> Let's see. I can't really m remove this because I need it really a lot. Uh, I could put it down one and yeah, problem solved. I'll just let it go down. Actually, watch my beetle. I'll just do this with my beetle. That's a lot easier. Uh, beetle, come here, boy. Come here, little boy. Come here. Yes, thank you. It's a beetle, not a dog, though. Oh well. So if I. Grind you three, and then I put like uh, where is it? These two, and I'll, I'll actually hook it up like this from underneath. And um, you know, even if it's wa even though it's one lower now, and I might need to cover it up a little bit nicer, I at least can put my two thrusters in properly. And um, yeah, it's a little bit more important that they are actually. Uh, put it nicely, then then my tr my um why can't I still not place you here? Is it because I'm in the way, or is it because my beetles in the way? It's probably because my beetles in the way. And oh, black was really horrible there for a second. I still don't get that. I only uh, although I have never worked actually on a large um world like this, it still has way too much lag and way more than it actually should. And I've probably ran out of steel plates, so let me just check. Yeah. So I'll just fill them in with the steel plates that I have on me. Like this one only needs one and this one needs five, so you know I can I can spare that real quickly and just put it in to make sure they're done. Uh, so if I go five and I do like this, yes now I can fit them in. So both of them. And if you're wondering, these things are quite powerful. Uh, two of these, you know, would be strong enough to push my whole ship forward. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm. Ooh, is that just random? Oh no, that's a that's a perfect square. <laughs> that's really funny. 
That's like a genuinely a perfect. Are there more of them here? Why are these things perfect squares? Like this one, that one here, this was kind of a perfect square. Th this one as well. Ah, that's really weird. Um, so yeah, maybe this asteroid is starting to become a little bit glitchy, you know, looking at how this looks. And, you know, looking at this. That might not be very, um, uh, good for my, uh, you know, asteroid to look like that, so I might remove it actually. And uh, of course, you know, removing um, asteroids every once in a while is not a bad idea. If you're, you know, in a b like if you're in this big world, just especially ones that you're like, I'm done with. Uh, it's probably better to just remove them instead of trying to keep them and um, you know having a bit of a laggy world. Uh, just removing them and be like, okay, you know, I'm never going to come back anyway. Because, for instance, I stripped it of all the things I wanted, or, you know, it's, it is, is that, uh, less value for me right now. Uh, like, of course, the one asteroid still has some valuable stuff, but if I really want to mine it, I should get an, a, a proper miner, not an auto miner, a manual miner, to pretty much mine all the stuff that I want, and that's a lot more work, so I might just, you know, call it uh, large beetle. I might just, you know, be done with it and remove it. Uh, so I need to go to storage and luckily I have 4,000 steel plates. Let's see, I have 3,000 construction components. I have, let's actually see if, if I need what I need for thrusters. I was the construction components, large steel tubes, thruster components. Or actually that's it. Steel plates, construction components, large tubes and just a couple Because you know I need to build them anyway one day, so why not just make it now? Um, I do not have a lot of large shield tubes, so at least production, go to. Oh, my. For some reason. It seems to be every time I connect they change a little bit. Um, so uh, maybe if I disconnect or something it will change back, or maybe it will just be kind of screwed. Uh, I don't know. Um, now we'll find out. So let's actually make. I'm wondering now how much. Iron do I still have? Because I'm, I might, uh, large ingot. I might actually run out of iron. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, 11k. Or 1100k, I should say. And I only need, like, 50k. Yeah, I only need 50k, so... I think 1100, that... Kinda does solve my problem here. Which is great, honestly, I don't want to. I was even thinking, actually, uh... I don't know how I came up with it, uh, right now, but... I was also thinking, what if I, um add a uh, solder on here and then I can just tell it to pull everything in I don't have to do it manually I can just connect it uh, for a few seconds and then disconnect it and just leave only problem is that I would have to make an access hole maybe like in here to actually get to the storage component if I need something so that's the reason why I still haven't done it and uh, I might uh, I might never do it actually it's not that big of a deal to do it by hand but uh, I was no, I was thinking, oh, it would be fun at least to do it like that. Um, so I do want to point out that it's an option, and uh, maybe some of you are watching it like, oh, you know, uh, I will actually do that uh, when I make a ship, you know, thank for the heads up, or the tip, I should say. And maybe there are some of you who are like, nah, you know, I don't really give a damn, and, uh, you know, I, I agree with you, it's easier to just be able to grab stuff out of your uh, world easily if you need it, and to be able to, you know, in a few seconds, uh, load it up. And so that's really, uh, you know, your, uh, preference. And of course I don't know what you prefer, so... I can judge you, I can, uh, tell you what to do there. And I will actually, if I go to my beetle lodge and go to my storage, I will just get all of these in here and then s already start, um, welding stuff up. I think it's really nice to, to, to have stuff finished. Um, and of course I still need to move my antenna. But I had to move it for a while now and I actually didn't just... I, I didn't really feel like moving it. It felt like a lot of work. Let's actually get the first two thrusters in. So the first two thrusters of my ship are done. And 
Um, I might actually, I need to l make sure I don't actually hit the, the antenna, so I'll just do it like this. Oh, that was laggy. And I already ran out of something. I already ran out. Please don't let it be trusty components. Please don't let it be fuck. Okay, so I'm probably stranded here a lot longer because I will definitely need a lot of gold. Like a lot of gold. The um, two small, what are they? The two small pockets of gold that are still on this one um, are not going to be enough. Like this one still has a small pocket here somewhere. Yeah, here. And um, that one doesn't even have a pocket anymore. It doesn't just have some random ass stuff left um, very much gold which I might actually just what I will actually just do is grab auto miner, control it um, move it up where is it going? and then move it back turn my auto mining off turn my um, see where it's going? yes like this, oh no wait how is it orientated? if I do shift I will so it's orientated like this if I move it this right now. It's actually quite damaged, looking at it. It has quite a damaged back. Uh, I might move it past my wall door in a few seconds to just let it, you know. Uh, oh wait, it's still the other way around. Should be like this. Yeah, now the camera is uh, also up, so. What I could just do is turn my drill on and just grab all the gold. That is That does make this one slightly more manual minor. Uh, at the point that I can see a little bit better. Um, but still, it's not, it's not perfect. The only reason I'm doing it right now is because I desperately just need to get all the gold of this place. Um, because I'm in desperate need of gold. Let's just grab all the gold here. And of course I need to make sure... Oh shit, just... Oh, well, I'll get the gold later. Uh, let's grab all that all of those gold. Well, I do need to make sure that I don't actually back into myself and kill myself uh, while mining. Mm, that's all the gold done. Uh, so of course now this asteroid is like starting to lag. It's, I, I'm pretty sure it's asteroid that you mine too much that they start lagging. Mm, because now the game starts lagging when I'm around this asteroid as well. So I might just you know run into a point that I need to remove some asteroids. And uh, I'm also thinking, uh, uh, I've also thought a, a few times already about making a second auto miner. You know, they can just fire one like at this asteroid and one just at this one or something. Mm. Or one actually so having constantly working on the big one and one constantly constantly working on the small ones. Um, and I still haven't done that. I still haven't actually decided if it's worth it uh, to make a second one. Even though I'm in my head like, okay, you know, I should definitely just go ahead and make a second one. Um, so that will be uh, at some point that I'll actually finally decide to, you know, fine, I'll just make a freaking second one. Um, and for now I'm actually just going to go in here and enjoy the view here and just sit here and relax. And end the video. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to tune in next time.